playing meat and juice hard. <laughs> this time every week we visit with Brent Roski. It is time for Roski on politics. Yes. Lots to get to today. Yes, we're gonna. Uh, so first, uh, we've got a couple clips we're gonna show. So real quick, let's jump right into it. So Wayne Ford, former state yep. representative, state of Iowa. You guys know who I'm talking about. Started the uh, started with uh, Maria Dominguez Campos uh, back in like '83. They started the Brown and Black Forum. And did you know C-SPAN? You know you watch C-SPAN and they've got the Road to the White House. You right. know all these billboards. Mm -hmm. The first out-of-state production they ever did was for Wayne and Maria's event. No way! Oh, the funny. first one they I ever did. That. Huh. That, their first road to the White House brought them to their event, the Brown and Black Forum. When they started it, there was only four forums in the United States for presidential campaigns. Now there's somewhere over 400. Right. Wow. So people, uh, you know, they decided he had a good thing going. So um, I chatted with uh, uh, Wayne and Maria at Urban Dreams last week. Let's take a look. Welcome back to Roski on Politics, here with two very special guests today, former state representative of the state of Iowa, Wayne Ford, and uh, Mary Dominguez Campos. They run the Brown and Black Forum, uh, which is in, how, what, how many years have you been doing it now? Since 84, you said? 84. Right? So a couple decades uh, under your yeah, well, belt. Well, well, me, me and Mary are still yeah, spring chickens. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's Mary. fantastic. Yeah. Well, we, if, if, uh, the last segment we mentioned, you're going to have the Democrat ticket there. There was going to be a Republican event, but there was a scheduling issue, so this year, uh, and, and just so we don't forget, when is the event this year and how can people participate? Well, it's going to be January the 11th at Drake University at okay. Shaz Lowe's Auditorium. We're very happy to have it there. Sure. Uh, we still work on the process of getting tickets, but uh, probably Urban Dreams. And I want to put, mention Urban Dreams. Ur uh, Project Vote is a program that really Brown and Black is under. Vote means voters' opportunity through education. That's a program under Urban Dreams. Another program on the Project Vote is what me and Murray has created is the Brown and Black. Mm -hmm. So we're working on some uh, programs right now on how to get people to contact Urban Dreams and how to get tickets. We should know about that in the very near future. You mentioned uh, we have three presidential candidates coming to your forum, uh, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Senator Bernie Sanders, and former Governor Martin O'Malley. What are the issues you're going to be presenting them with or discussing at at your forum this year? Well, uh, in some of the areas, uh, yeah. Im immigration, sure. uh, immigration, education, health, economic development, and criminal justice. So the five basic areas, what, and what me and Mary has created so uniquely, it hasn't changed in all the forms we did. The first form we did, those five areas, including immigration, I want to say that, mm -hmm. we've always done that. So our, form, our format has never changed that much. This program uh, that we're taping this for actually airs in other markets as well. What do you want folks who don't live in Iowa to know about the racial diversity in Iowa? Is it more or less than they think it is, or what do you think people should know about it? Well, I think that, first of all, uh, when we first came to Des Moines, I was six years old, and there were not the percentage of Hispanics that there were. There was no way that there was a percentage of Hispanics that we have today in the city. and. Uh, people from other countries that were of Latino or Hispanic descent. The uh, need for that was because my parents had been immigrant workers, mm -hmm. and we migrated from Oklahoma to the northern Iowa, to Minnesota, and my parents worked in those fields. On the way back, we happened to have—my dad got sick, and we ended up staying in Des Moines. I was about five years old doesn't think it'll pay out, so I might have uh, lost. Hey, here we are. We're back. back. <laughs> <laughs> Those clips, they is sometimes they jump up on you. So that is uh, the Brown and Black Forum is coming up January 11th, which is actually uh, the same day that session starts at the Iowa Capitol. But uh, tickets uh, will go on sale, they think, next week. Drake University, and if you're into Democrat politics, they'll all be there. Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Martin O'Malley. Nice. Uh, and, uh, and it is a vibrant forum uh, talking about uh, some issues that they normally don't talk about when they come to Iowa. So uh, good for um, uh, Mr. Ford and uh, Ms. Campos for doing an event that has just taken off, so thanks to them for being on the show. Uh, we have time real quick to show uh, actor Tony Goldwyn was in town last week. Uh, he plays the president on Scandal, talked with him, and then segued into the trailer, the first broadcast ever of the trailer of our movie, According to Des Moines, and you might see some people in it that you know. Oh, Let's mm. take a look. Her look. entire life, as I, as I just mentioned, you know, she's had this call to service. It's what she's based her whole existence on. When she got out of Yale Law School, you know, she was at the top of her class. She could easily have gone to a hotshot New York law firm, made a lot of money, and had a very fabulous life. So she took a job at the Children's Defense Fund and, you know, went to work for women and children. 
and has dedicated her whole life to, the, to those issues. And even when in Arkansas, when her husband became governor, she went into private practice and, by the way, became the first female partner at the historic Rose Law Firm. You uh, play a president on TV, but now you're involved in presidential politics. What brings you to Iowa tonight? I'm here uh, to support Hillary Clinton. Why is that? Because I think, A, I'm, you know, Iowa is such an important state, and uh, um, it's really exciting to be here on the ground. But I think that, you know, we're living in a very, a very gr critical moment in our history. And I think our next leader is going to be really important. And um, for me, there's no uh, question in my mind that Hillary's the, the, the most qualified, the most experienced, the, the person with the right ideas that I think is really going to move um, our country, really bring us to the next level. Our mutual friend Richard Schiff, uh, he and I have been at political conventions together. People come up to him and, and ask him questions as if he knows about politics. Do you get that a lot, being on the television? I do. <laughs> How do, you, do how's lot. that experience? People mainly ask me, you know, if I want to run for president, and this, I say, <laughs> I'm not smart enough to run for president. <laughs> oh, let Hillary Clinton do that. Yeah. Uh, Tony Goldwyn is here in Iowa. We're going to do something in honor of Tony's appearance. We're going to show the brand new premiere of this of the sequel that Project Richard and I did, Courting Des Moines. Thanks so much for chatting All with right. us, Tony. All right. Good. Take care, you. buddy. Thanks. What I love about the caucus process, it is old-fashioned grassroots democracy, and we have much too little of it in the United States of America. <laughs> this has caused to all that we've been working on? To this room, I want to be a good host. I want to encourage them to come to Iowa early and often. because it's the first uh, contest. People in Iowa are hard-working, wonderful, terrific people. Iowa expects you to show up. Weddings, funerals, I'll do it. I am confident that the investigation will show that I am innocent of the charges against me. Please kiss our babies goodnight. Give yourself you got to be here in Iowa if you want to compete in Iowa. I'm under a Midwestern sky, daydreaming about Samantha you. Clemens is a friend of mine, and I'm sure the charges I'm against her are false. Midwestern sky. Men and women of Iowa take their responsibility very seriously. Daydreaming about you. who is seeking to earn the awesome and sacred trust of the presidency of the United States has to come and engage with the people of Iowa, and that's good for our democracy. The Iowa, Ooh. you guys saw you guys in there. Yeah, there's I saw a, you in there, too. There, How about that? There's a mm -hmm. bunch of uh, fun cameras like that. The uh, Iowa premiere is January 31st. It is Sunday, the 31st, at the Varsity Theater, and uh, Senator Tom Harkin will be co-hosting that night. Uh, tickets will go on sale next week. So everybody watching this, please come. It's going to be a heck of a fun night. There you go. Well done, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Okay. No, like, like it was on the trailer. Yay. Look at that. We'll be right back. Life, life, <laughs> art.